go psycho Too many drunk hoes I might just go psycho Too many drunk hoes I might just go psycho Too many drunk hoes What's going on guys? Storm6678 back with another tutorial So for this video it's gonna be I'm gonna try to make it quick I always say I'm gonna make it quick But it never happens Um but for this video, I'm going to be showing you three simple effects to kind of make your trick shot videos look a little bit better. I say trick shot because um, you can do the same thing for creative clips, but it's not necessarily the best approach uh, for creative clips specifically. But I'll be showing you guys how to um, how to kind of uh, spice up your videos. So I have my clip here, right? It's synced when the shot hits the player, right? So for this, I'm just gonna give it a simple impact. Uh, where is it? Impact, 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 impact light. Just do that. Just for the purpose of this tutorial. Do this real quick. Oh, gotta have that locked. Boom. And then have it zoom out around there. Alright, so now we have <clears throat> a little bit of impact on the shot. That's not the point of this tutorial. Uh, the point of this tutorial is the effects you do before the shot. Alright, that's a cute little bit of impact. So, uh, the first, so there's like three different effects that we're going to go over. The first one is going to be a black and white pinch. So I'm gonna scroll down if BCC can fuck off. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down to black and white. Uh, I'm just gonna do 75% and as you can see, it's black and white. Now I'm gonna keyframe this, all right? And what I'm gonna do is, so for black and white, you're gonna want it to be like a pretty long fade so that they can see it fade to black and white. Um, but we're gonna just need to have this point be zero and then you're gonna have it fade so what I like to do is I like to add slow fade to fast fade uh, that just makes it a little bit smoother excuse my phone guys um, anyways and then I'm gonna scroll down to pinch slash punch now I'm gonna do maximum pinch now for this part you're gonna click animate and you're gonna scroll this keyframe all the way over. It's gonna be quick though. Ready? So five, six, seven, eight. Um, eight should be good. And then you're gonna make the amount zero. So that's eight frames. Um, and it'll pinch. And then you'll hit the shot. All right. So let's see what this looks like. Ain't gonna lie, that looks clean AF. I like that a lot. Alright, so that's the first effect. I call it black and white pinch. Um, now, when you have that effect on your clip, instead of having to do those keyframes over and over again, just click on the FX here. And then you're gonna click this FX plus. Alright? And then you're gonna say save as and then you can name it whatever you want and I'm not gonna name it because I already have this but you can name it whatever you want and then it'll save under filtered packages under whatever um, whatever name you really want basically uh, so <clears throat> that just helps the workflow process and helps you um, create and add effects a little bit quicker and easier like especially if you're in an HC or something like that it'll, it helps um, so on to the next effect so we're just gonna clear these effects the next effect I've been using a lot um, so where is it so it, it, it also is a black and white but only I only use 50% black and white for this one. 
So I'm just gonna have the keyframe here and here. And then I'm going to need uh, a little bit of some vignette. Where is it? S underscore vignette, vignette, vignette. It should be right here. So then you're gonna add vignette and then you're gonna keyframe the radius. All right. So whenever you click the keyframe and you keyframe the radius, you don't need to move this. Just take this and drag it to the end because you want it to fade into the vignette. And then we're going to make the radius um, two. We're also going to make the, we're also going to keyframe the opacity just because there is still that little bit. Oh, what just happened? Oh, there it is. Sorry, the keyframe didn't move. That was weird. Um, so then it's going to fade to a vignette. I'm going to have that fade. So like what I'm doing is, so it's going to fade, the vignette's going to start to fade in. And since this isn't all the way to the end, it's going to like stay there for a little bit. So it's going to have the vignette for a hot sec. Um, and then I'm also going to want to move this back so that they're fading in at the same time. All right. Sorry, I typically save after I add effects. And then the last part, so this is just a vignette, simple vignette. Um, the last part I add is a BCC lens blur. Uh, just to add a little bit. <clears throat> I shouldn't say the last part, but the last effect that I add on to this. Because I do do one more thing. And then BCC lens blur. Here we go. So then you're just gonna keyframe that, same thing, iris scale, and you're gonna make it zero, and you're just gonna fade that out. Now I don't want it to fade the same way that these fade, so I'm gonna have it fade a little bit later and make it a little bit more subtle because it's a little bit quicker and towards the end. Now, uh, one more thing that I do, I insert a video track and then I go to media generations, go to solid color, black, and essentially, it's a short fade, but you're going to come here, make sure you cut it to like where your keyframes roughly are. I'm making a tutorial. Um, so you're going to cut it to where your keyframes roughly are. Uh, so I'm going to want this to be a little bit longer and then you make the opacity down to between 25 and 40. It's whatever you really want. And then I'm going to fade it so that it gets a little bit darker and then the shot hits. So let's see what that looks like. Now that, for like a song like this, I think that looks really good. Yeah, I think that looks really good. Um, so that's the second effect. Now I'm gonna come here and I have all my keyframes and stuff. I'm gonna add, or I'm gonna save this, I should say, as um, vignette before. And then okay. And now it's saved. Now, if you add an effect and you don't see the keyframes, all you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna drag the clip up and then drag it and maybe the um, keyframes are later, like put later in the clip. Uh, just a little tip there, it's pretty simple. Um, all right, and then for the last and final effect that I do beforehand, it's kind of the opposite of that one. Um, so I do use blur. I don't use lens blur. I use, where is it? Um, Gaussian blur, right? Just a super, super light blur. I'm going to keyframe that. Have it fade a little bit. <clears throat> and then where is it? Uh, S underscore rays so I have some presets here uh, I'll probably use this one and then you're gonna go to 
threshold and you're gonna keyframe the threshold all right so I keyframed it and then I turned the threshold all the way up to one that means the rays are, are not gonna be there so I'm gonna make this like super quick right I want it to like the rays to come in right before the shot hits and then it has that glow effect now you can also use uh, slow fade here fast fade and then uh, there's one more effect I think I put on. Oh, oh yeah, uh, time warp RGB. So I'm just gonna slap that on right there. And then you're gonna keyframe the red shift and the blue shift, all right? So I'm just gonna keyframe it from zero to one and negative one. All right, and then just move those keyframes up, do it along with the blur. And um, if you wanted to add a little bit more spice onto this, especially if it was like a like a super intense song, um, one thing I would recommend adding is the um, is some shake to have it like kind of shake into it. But since this is a chill song, I'm just gonna leave it. see what it looks like that's super clean yeah that's dumb clean you can't really see the time warp RGB but it just adds like that little bit um but yeah so I'm gonna save that too because that was dope save as and then I'm gonna do raise before there we go but um yeah uh, that's that's really it and uh, if you guys have any questions or want any more tutorials similar to this like three effects five effects like whatever like just small simple things that I do for my montages um, just let me know in the comments below uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Any support's appreciated. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.